Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. All right, it seems like everybody would like to know more about the leading ladies, the um, actresses of K-drama. So this next reading is going to be about Jio, Jion Yo Bin. I've been reading about her for a while and I'm just going to see what's going to come for her in 2023. Um, now, a uh, little bit about myself for anybody that is new to my channel. I am a clairsentient clairvoyant, which means I pick up energy. As a clairsentient, I pick up energy from other people. Um, uh, feelings, emotions, vibes. I read people's energy. And so it's called reading people. And I can also read faces. So I can um, read what somebody else is feeling. I'm not a mind reader, but I can pick up emotions and I can pick up feelings and I can pick up feelings between people so um, that is how I do my readings I also use tarot cards so if anybody out there is interested in purchasing a reading from me please email me I will have my email below I will get back to you within 24 hours and there's three services that I do provide the first one is one question $30 and you get five cards in an energy, energy reading. Two questions is $45. You get five cards for each um, question, energy reading as well. And a full reading is $70, four questions, tarot cards, and an energy reading. Okay, with the full reading, uh, typically I'll give a little bit more, like maybe pull out the romance angels or whatever the case is. So if you're looking to just get one question, wondering about a job that you might need to accept or what path you want to go on for um, career if somebody that you're interested likes you back that sort of a thing or just on your favorite celebrity you can purchase any of those um, services that I provide and for any of any of you that keep coming back and supporting my channel and I'm so grateful for it every last one of you um, this community has been very good to me and I'm um, not really I like this this channel um, is not successful without you guys so all right so on to the reading with John Bin. she is a Leo I had to double check what her um, her zodiac sign is but I I feel for the year 2023 perhaps she's gonna really dive into work um, I I don't follow any celebrities whether it's North American, Korean, or 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 Chinese, um, I don't follow their work. I don't follow what they're doing if they're working on something right now. But I do feel it's like she just wants to um, dive into work and maybe forget about her problems, forget about um, her, the reality of life sometimes. But I really feel that that is what makes her heart sing: is working, keeping busy. I just feel like there's going to be um, project after project she's going to keep herself busy and um, I don't really feel like she's going to have much room for private life and uh, I think that's just her focus is going to be on work work friends that sort of a thing but mainly work now like I said I don't follow her as far as whether she's in a, a project right now so I don't know if anybody wants to leave a comment let me know what she is up to or if she signed on for a new project or is she doing Netflix series or something like that I do believe I feel that there there will be a second season of Vincen, Vin, Vincenzo so this that could be starting this year I'm feeling if not this year maybe beginning of next year but I, I have a feeling there's gonna be a second season and they'll all come back together and um, I feel like they'll have like a really good time working together. Okay. All right. So let's see what the energies are for Jian Yo Bin. And the way you do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, let uh, I will put the card back and shuffle till the one card falls out. Again. Let me know if you guys like this way of uh, me doing readings. I found out, I figured out how to um, be able to show myself and the cards um, being shuffled. Okay, what are the messages for 2023 for Jian Yo Bin?
What are the messages for June Yule Bean? What are the messages for June Yule Bean? What are the messages for June Yule Bean? 2023. 2023. Okay. All right, so I really don't feel that there is, she's, I really feel like she is immersing herself into work for the year of 2023. Now, there's the emperor. The emperor did come up. Um, she's got a lot of support around her. The Nine of Cups speaks about wishes coming true, material happiness, sorry, material abundance, good health, she is going to get what she wants this year because I feel she's going to work very hard for it. She's got the stability that she needs, okay? There's always a fear, okay? So here's the Seven of Swords. There's always a fear that this is going to be taken away from her. The Seven of Swords is about theft, betrayal, dishonesty, running away, divorce, affair. Now, I feel that this has to do with work. She's always afraid, and a lot of these actors and actresses, you hear them say the last project that they worked on, they think is the last one. They're always afraid they're going to be, that'll be it for them, they are done, their career is over. But I don't feel that that is going to happen. She's going to keep busy, I feel like it's going to be one project after another, okay? So she might have that fear of things being taken away, but I don't think that's going to happen, okay? She's going to get what she wants. All right, I always say put into the universe what you want. And this is about her sharing with everybody, her wealth, sharing food, sharing wine, that sort of a thing. Okay? So this does speak about lots of abundance and she has to put these fears behind her. Okay? All right. Then we have the Four of Wands, which does signify homecomings, celebration, family, friends. She's going to be surrounded by family, friends. She's going to, I feel like she's going to spend a lot of time with family and friends. Okay. And that is the people, like the small circle of, let's say if she has a small circle of friends, she will spend time with them, the people that uplift her and support her, you know, that sort of a thing. Now, there does show a man that comes up here, okay? The emperor. The emperor is someone who's well-respected. They're a strategic planner. This could be somebody that she works with that is not another actor, but someone who is in the film industry, acting industry. Somebody who is the boss. Could be someone who's the boss of her agency. Now, just because this man comes up doesn't mean she's going to take that opportunity. Okay, a lot of people, so when I say somebody's going to come into your life, that is fate. It could be divine destiny, all right? But people have the free will to make that choice whether they want to continue or not. So this man might come into her life. She might get to know him, but decide she doesn't want to pursue that, okay? But it might be that she is perhaps going to have um, uh, uh, the feelings of wanting marriage with children, family, love, support with this person. So the Ten of Cups is what everybody strives for. Tens are endings, aces are beginnings. These two cards are by them, be, beside each other. So she might have an opportunity of a man coming into her life, offering her love, and she may take it. Okay, these are all, these are cards of potential. Nothing is ever written in stone, okay? So that's what these cards are saying here is that she's going to have an opportunity. She's going to have a lot of support around her. She needs to get out of this mindset of worrying about things being taken away from her, okay? Because I feel she has, she's going to have a lot of support. See, here's the Nine of Cups. Again, I'm going to go over this card and I'm going to go to... Um, the book because the book is a lot more detailed. So the Nine of Cups. See, this card speaks about wishes, rewards, happiness, and sharing. 
okay? It's the wish come true card. You not only manifest what you desire, but you also get to enjoy it. It's a time of abundance, growth, re reward, affection, laughter, and new connections as relationships and new ventures flourish. You share your rewards. All are welcome at your table. Now, this man does represent a committed relationship. Okay? And the Ten of Cups is about joy, togetherness, love. Okay? It denotes love, contentment, and the spirit of togetherness. Relationships, group activities, and children thrive as you enter a phase of emotional and financial security. He might give her some sort of a security. Okay? This represents an Aries man. You can see on his shoulder there's the sign of Aries. Okay? It represents an Aries man. Okay? So... Looks like she's going to have a lot of support around her. She, I feel like she's going to really focus on work and she is going to have an opportunity for love. Whether she takes it or not is going to be up to her. Okay? All right, everyone, there you go. That is the reading on Gian Yobin for 2023. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. I truly appreciate Have a great day. Bye-bye.